hi lovelies welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a different type of video hence a different background um as the year is very much coming to an end i would like to do you know a nice um entire luxury handbag video just for just for um me to share um my entire luxury collection with you guys um if this is your first time here welcome we do all things luxury handbags here and um, if you enjoy watching videos like that please do not hesitate to subscribe to my channel and uh, like and comment on you know what kind of other videos you like to see on uh, my channel so let's jump right into it so so the way this is gonna go is I'm gonna go brand by brand and we'll just progress from there let's jump right into it the first bag that I will be sharing with you guys is my Louis Vuitton um, Never Full in size MM. This is, of course, um, uh, like I said in my Louis Vuitton um, um, collection video, it's an oldie but a goodie. I have had it for a long time. This was actually my first luxury handbag. And honestly, it does not look like it was my first luxury handbag. It has very much held... Um, it's held up nicely it's doing really good it has a few cracks on the strap because um, it was like my first and only luxury handbag for a long time so to be honest I definitely have worn the life out of this purse um, but if you look at the corner of the the straps you might see some wear and tear on the corners um, but I do have plans to fix that in the nearest future no rush to do that right now because to be honest I have not been carrying this as much lately because I have replaced it with another Louis Vuitton totes that I would be sharing later on so yes that is what this looks like is if you know you're thinking or considering getting this purse if it's not in your collection or you know you're you're thinking about starting your um, own collection this is a definite I have I had it before I even got married and honestly after getting married having um, the kid now it has sort of turned turned into like a diaper bag for me I have enjoyed it I am enjoying it still I travel with it now if I want to you know do carry on if I like you know I'm traveling and I have a lot of stuff this is a great you know um, bag to use because it does you know never get full honestly right now if I show you what is inside it's just a bunch of you know I use it as storage as well for my things that are just you know all over the place in my um, closet and yeah I love it so much it's it's a definite yes for me and yes this was my first um, luxury item and a lot of bags later I would still say go for it my second um, cutie right here is the Louis Vuitton Alma BB in monogram print um I love this bag a lot I was obsessed with this for a very very long time I wanted it so bad um, and honestly my first choice was not the monogram print and yes, looking back now, a few years at later, I'm like, I wish I got it in Damier B. Um, but it's fine. I have it now. A few years later, and a lot of water damage later, I still rock it. Being that it's monogram, not only is it very casual for me, so this is not a dressy purse for me, um, I still enjoy it. I carry it all the time. You know, it has just the typical, you know, opening on the inside I do it's just a bunch of random stuff in here please excuse me but I'm going to show you guys so it's I have like paper in there receipts and I have like you know the air whatever is in there to just keep the shape I mean without that you don't really need anything to stuff the bag because it's a pretty you know structured bag I like it a lot if you're one who really would be really irked about water damage I was irked about it but I kind of just you know gave up on warring you know i was like you know what i'm just gonna enjoy the bag i'm gonna carry it i have no plans of selling it because if i have to sell this <laughs> it probably will be i don't know at whatever cost i'm gonna get but i mean i don't have any plans on selling this because it's such a nice you know um casual everyday um bag i do wear i know a lot of people complain about the fact that oh it's not really comfortable to wear cross body but i do wear cross body actually 90 percent of the time 
it's yes it is uncomfortable because when it sits on the side of the body it can be very very weird once it sits um on the on the body um it has the straps that are somewhere in here it comes with these um non-adjustable straps um this is what they look like so um i'm five uh two five three four reference and it's comfortable i mean it has i have no issues wearing the bag i have no issues you know um wearing a crossbody on my with my um height this is what it looks like on me it's pretty pretty it sits like below like right below my um my um my waist so it's pretty pretty high you can't even catch it on the camera it's really low so even if you're taller i i don't see any reason why this that would deter like even if you're taller it would still be a good option to wear crossbody if you know it's bumping around or hitting your waist or not laying flat is not a bother for you but yeah i do like the bag but if you're one who likes to keep their purses in pristine condition which is should be everyone to be honest i just have been very unfortunate with this item i have gone out and it's um rain has gotten on it i've um you know that's really primarily the the, co the cause of you know my water damage on my purse but i'm fine with it i'm just hoping that when it patinas even more it gets darker the straps get darker and i don't have to worry about you know the water damage so much i know i'm talking about water damage not sure if it's close enough for you guys to see but yeah you can see on on the corner here I mean, on the yeah and on the base of the purse too and when i noticed that i started getting more water damage on it i was like you know what then i stopped babying the purse at all i'm like you know what i'm just gonna wear you however i feel like wearing you okay <laughs> so yeah i love it so much but if water damage is something that if is if you feel like you know you're, you're in a in a climate whereby it rains a lot and you might get caught in the rain a few times hey you might want to just get this in the dimeric bean instead of getting this in the monogram print i actually looked for the the um bag in dimeric bean but i couldn't find it at the time and it was just always out of stock so i was like you know what let me just give monogram a try but i would very much be glad to tell you that this will be my first and only monogram handbag from louis vuitton never say never but for now i am done with all the vachetta the vachetta leather that can potentially you know have water damage my next beauty is the one and only um on the go size mm in imprinte leather this is the uh, from the wild at heart collection it is a limited um edition on the go tote i love it so much so so much this is actually a gift um to me um from my husband and honestly I didn't even know how much I needed it till I got it. I wasn't looking at it. I actually hadn't even seen, you know, um, these um, purses from this collection. And it just, you know, landed in the house. And I'm like, wait, what? And it's been so amazing. For the first year of the life of this purse, I've had it for over a year now. And it was a diaper bag. If you watch my... um entire Louis Vuitton collection I go into more detail on the purses so you can go ahead and watch that I'll link it below in the description box um I wore this very much and it has very much held up to <laughs> standard okay it has the animal print um, right here and it you know has imprinted leather it's so gorgeous no feet at the bottom but I haven't had any issues with it I just have not a stain, something I probably need to just wipe out at the bottom right here. But it's been perfect. I have no issues with the purse. The only one thing I mentioned um, in the previous video, also I'm mentioning again, is the fact that I wish I could detach, you know, the shoulder straps. Because you can also wear it as a shoulder strap. But when the purse is full, right now it's empty. Um, when it's full, it can get a little bit um, clumsy when you're trying to, you know, carry it as a... Um, top handle bag or at the crook of your arm 
I'm trying to push this inside. It's kind of weird. But yeah. Love, okay? It's a yes for me. If you're thinking about if you can find this, I think I found I saw one on Fashion File just randomly because sometimes I just like to see the prices of what my what my bags are right now. And yeah, I think I saw one of it on Fashion File. I'm not sure if it's still there. But yeah, I mean they do have the different um under um on the gold totes in different um, collections and you know other designs and you know the classic monogram and um you know reverse monogram just a bunch of them but i love this so much and i just love the fact that it is uh it was in the limited edition and, you know, uh my next one is my speedy 30. this is actually the speedy b the speedy bandolier hence the straps so in size 30 i have a video dedicated to this ranting about it because i purchased it not too long ago however i've been able to change it no issues with this one i mean it's an oldie it's a clap not oldie well yeah it is a classic purse i know a lot of people say oh okay it's not in style right now i do not buy purses because of trends or whatever i buy what i like and what i think you know i would get a good use out of it's so amazing it's so gorgeous i love the fact that you know i can zip it unlike the um the never full i'm excited to travel with this purse we're taking a trip in a few weeks and i'm actually considering and contemplating actually taking this as a uh, my hand luggage just because i have a toddler now and he is all over the place i don't want things tipping over and like things spilling out of my purse this is the biggest bag that i have that actually has like you know a zip at the top um that i know that can fit a bunch of things um when i took a trip um an international trip last year with my kid i took my on the go tote but i mean at the time he was about three months but now he's a little regret running all over the place so this is more comfortable for me i can wear this crossbody i love the fact that you know with the um strap you can adjust it right now i put the three um um the three uh what's it called uh, whatever section straps on it but most times when I want to wear it as a shoulder strap, I would just take out the center one and just connect um, both buckles and make it shorter. But, you know, whenever I will be traveling with this, I will leave it long just because I would have so that I can have the flexibility, to, flex, the flexibility to wear it cross body. But yeah, it's pretty long cross body. So but I no complaints at all on that. So there it is. The, you know classic classic speedy um bag i mean of course this is a classic um piece from louis vuitton if you're trying to also you know start off your collection this is also a good bag to have a good purse to have a good addition to your collection because also the print the damier bean you don't have to worry about anything you can lug it around hit it everywhere it's fine like you you saw my um never full it was it still looks as good you know what I'm just gonna put it side by side so you can see this is like almost almost six years after the uh, never full but I will show you what it looks like side by side you can see both of them I mean they look almost you know canvas just always just looks the same honestly it just softens up better and honestly I feel like when it softens up it even looks even better right now this one is still very rigid because it's pretty new but yeah love you can never go wrong with these two purses to be honest never go wrong with these two purses my final louis vuitton um handbag is this um gorgeous piece i can't really speak too much on it because i actually recently added this to my collection this is the um louis vuitton cousin and size pm and um i have you know i'm really really excited about this edition because it's definitely not, not that I have nothing like this in my collection. Um, I was going to purchase my Lady Dior in this shade, like a metallic gray. I forget what the name is. I tried to, um, ugh, I tried to get the name for this video, but for some reason I forgot it and the box is all the way up. Oh, but anyways, I'll put it in the description box below. So it comes with this um, gorgeous, gorgeous um, chain strap that can be worn as worn as a shoulder strap. 
or of course um, you can carry it as a clutch just you know leaving the the chain to just hang carry it under your arm or you know this awesome cool edgy chain um what's it called strap right here you can wear it as a crossbody bag you can also adjust it to you know to to the length um to your um desired length very versatile um i love it a lot the chain strap is just gorge 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 i have nothing bad to say about this for now my next next uh purse is my ysl wallet on chain um of course this is this is actually my second luxury piece in my collection but of course i have been um introducing those sharing the bags um designer by designer brand by brand so now we're um here um on the ysl side of life <laughs> so this is actually my second um luxury piece ever i did enjoy the fact that i you know had gotten a never full and then i picked up a ysl um wallet on chain kind of like as a dressier piece and i would say that i definitely got my wear out of this for sure it's very i mean you know very much like a wallet like the name states it has a lot of uh, what's it called compartments on the inside i believe it has 10 in front and 10 at the back it also has this detachable strap that you can take off i actually have never tried to take it off because i haven't had the need to actually you know remove this but you can remove it if you would want to like pull out the straps um but i don't believe there's any need to do that because whenever you close it there's nothing popping out from the top so you can just you know dump the extra the excess um chain on the strap inside sorry the excess chain inside the purse um but uh, most times i do well for the most part i have worn it as a shoulder strap bag because it's more dressy i would not wear a crossbody if i was going to an event but recently i started to you know to try to shorten the strap i would just go ahead and you know double the strap and just wear it as a top handle this way and that's been fun to actually style that way um so yeah it's a very you know nice piece to also add to your collection if you're just starting up because right now i believe it's still about 15 something i mean it's really expensive right now because of there's price increases everywhere honestly i know it was definitely not that expensive when i purchased it i'm not sure don't quote me i don't know exactly how much this costs right now but i'll look for it and see if i can find it on the website and just you know link it down below but yeah this is what it looks like my next YSL piece is the uh, Lulu Puffer in size small. Actually, I have a, a review of, on this uh, purse already on my channel. So if you would like to see more details on the bag and, you know, pros and cons and all that kind of good stuff, it's already on my channel. Um, I'll go ahead and just link that below as well. Um, it's a gorgeous piece. I love it so much. It's so pillowy, soft, very yummy to the feel. It's nice, 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 and soft. I, you know, make a joke. I'm like, you know what? I could just lay my head on this and go to bed at night. Of course, I don't want to mess it up, right? Because it's just really soft lambskin leather. Love it. Love it a lot. Can't really say too much bad about it. Of course, the pop of color as well, you know, was an exciting um, addition to my collection. And I've been enjoying it so far. So, the strap comes out of the, um, of the purse like so. When I store it, I just, you know, um, just, you know, pull pull the chain strap all the way inside just to make sure that it's not you know causing any indentations on the bag itself so i love it so much you can wear it as shoulder um shoulder bag or you know wear it this way or as a crossbody very comfortable my next purse is the YSL sac de jour in size small. I mean, <laughs> it's funny that this is called small, right? Because it's a huge bag. Um, I actually was, <laughs> funny story. Some days ago, I was like this close, like to taking pictures to just, you know, um, go ahead and just 
listed on fashion file because I just felt like it was just too big but I'm like this is the one big one and only big purse I have in my collection big black you know black purse that I have in my collection and I'm like you know what it's such a classic tote I think it's a good idea to just you know leave it in my collection I was gonna just you know sell it and just see if I, if any other size works for me um it has my I was uh, I engraved it as well so I was kind of worried that that might be an issue it was actually engraved um, at the store um but yeah I haven't gotten as much wear out of this purse like I thought because I was obsessed with this bag okay I was obsessed for a long time I could not get my eyes off it I couldn't stop watching videos about it I just wanted it so bad so I you know I went to go try the purse on I didn't purchase it that day which was very good of me because normally once i get into this i try not to even go to the store so i don't buy anything impulsively but i didn't purchase it i left but i still could not get my you know my thoughts together but yeah i know it's a, it's a great you know um purse to have in my collection and i'm glad that it's actually in black so years down the line years from now it would still come back you know and you know i'll figure out how it works for me for now i haven't been carrying it too much maybe i feel like the baby the size baby which is a little bit smaller than this would have actually been better for me but hey i know big bags are definitely gonna come back into you know come back in style but and it's actually in the green leather so i love that a lot about the bag and you know it has the typical accordion style right here um it actually also has fun fact about the bag i feel like i would do a full video on this purse so i don't want to waste too much time um it has a detachable um um, compartment in here that you can kind of carry as a purse kind of like the um the bracelet that is in the speedy in the not speedy in the never full so yeah this is what the purse looks like so that's the front and that's the side and the back of the purse and uh, they talk about you know having extenders just in case you want to like fill the bag even more i don't think that stretches out the purse that much to be honest but yeah that's what it looks like so my final um, and most recent YSL purse is this beautiful, beautiful YSL, um, the Saint Laurent um, Lulu, classic Lulu in size medium. So this is what it looks like. It has the, you know, the straps that pull out um, here. This is actually in color gray khaki. It was just the color that really got me. I have seen a lot of the nudes, you know, the beige and the blacks with the gold hardware. But when I saw this, I'm like, oh, okay, this is amazing. It's such a beautiful color. It's, it's, it's really, really sweet. It has like a greenish, grayish undertone. So it's a gray, ca it's in color gray khaki. I believe it's a seasonal color. So yeah, I got it not too long ago. This is how I store it. Um, with the package, the, the original package that came in here because I I have seen some squished up Lulus, okay? And I definitely don't want that to be the case of this purse. So yeah, it's nice and huge. It's actually, it, it was bigger than I expected. Well, not bigger than I expected because I actually had tried, because I ordered it online, but I went into the store to try it on before I ordered it. But no regrets about the purse. I love it so much. It's such a dressy purse. You know, you can carry it around if you're trying not to be too casual. Of course, if you're trying to be like 100% casual, you can carry uh, purses like, you know, this, the, the never full. But this fits a lot at the same time. It still, you know, gives you dressy vibes. So, very much love that about the purse. Um, yeah, I love it. it doesn't so, have my next um, purse is the Lady Dior in size small so this is actually the my abc dior um also known as the small so um the abc i guess they just stands for you know you can put like your uh, letters um your your entire your, you you get um three free letters the first three free letters or charms or whatever you want to like add to your purse I just added like initials to mine um well I added my initials to mine it was a gift um 
for Mother's Day this year. And um, yeah, I've been enjoying it so far. I also have a detailed review on this purse. So I'm not going to go too much into it. I have been enjoying it. The wear and tear of the bag is very good. The lambskin is so, is so nice and soft. Yet it just feels so durable. I love that about this this specific one the reason why i'm saying specific one is because the next one is i beg to differ on that one but yeah i love this so far no issues whatsoever with it and of course you can use the you know you're carrying it either a top handle or for me i can carry it on the crook of my arm because i'm pretty petite and um you know on a more casual day you can carry it with this chunky um strap um if you please oh my god my next Dior item is the Lady Dior. This is in the mini, um, in color Lotus. It's so soft. For some reason, I think it's the um, iridescent um, fabric or the color or this just color scheme that just makes it so soft. I love it a lot, but I just, you know, half the time I'm just trying to like baby the purse whenever I carry it around. Um, it comes with this, um, with the um gold um strap which i really like a lot because i really like my i feel like it just makes the purse look like jewelry so yeah this is what this looks like surprisingly it fits a lot i know a lot of people say it doesn't fit anything that's not true it fits a lot i was able to put a mini gatorade bottle of um mini bottle of gatorade into this purse at the bottom like it just laid flat and it was comfortable and i fit my phone fit my card holder i'll do a video on this just for you guys to see how much it fits but i love it so much especially the color this is a color that i you know was excited to add to my collection so yeah i love everything about this bag um apart from the fact that i feel like the wear and tear is going to be interesting i already have a few scratches on it but mm, it doesn't bother me too much no plans to sell this so we're good my next purse is the Gucci Dionysus um, in um, size small in this beautiful beautiful red I have a video on this so I wouldn't speak too much on it I like it a lot this is actually the only red back in my collection and it's here to stay okay I haven't really worn it much this year but oh, I actually wore it earlier on in the year but I haven't worn it as much as I thought I would it's pretty heavy but I'm excited so I'm so excited for you know next year and actually Christmas because hey it's red right so actually my fun fact my two Gucci purses actually like Christmas colors <laughs> so yeah I'm excited for you know this during uh, the holidays yeah my second and final Gucci purse is the um, Gucci Diana mini tote this purse, I do have um, a review on this on my page as well. On this, um, I purchased this. This was, well, this was a gift for my hubby as well because he just wanted me to have a green bag so bad. <laughs> and, um, you know, we saw this and I'm like, you know what? Okay, this is more my style. I like it a lot. I love the, you know, the bamboo handles. Um, and, you know, I have been enjoying it a lot i did wear it more funny enough i actually wore it more during the summer um but i plan on wearing it more now of course you know i said this is actually green which is you know um it's a fall color is and it's also you know one of the christmas colors as well so i'm excited to just you know style it even more um in the next couple of weeks so yeah that's in it you know as tiny and as cute as it is it actually does fit surprisingly a lot of stuff so yes that sums it up for Gucci. Next in my collection is my most worn bag of the year. <sighs> I know that everybody's fighting Chanel. Everybody's mad at Chanel. But hey, I'm, I'm mad at them too, especially because of the price increases. I feel like they're doing too much. And for the quality issues that they've been dealing with and having, they need to take a chill pill. However, hey, I'm not even about to bash them this is not a bash chanel you know segment this is a purse that has my heart had it for a few years now and it's it is serving its purpose okay it has served its purpose i've worn this bag 
more than any of the purses in my collection in this year. It's, I, I dress it up, I dress it down, it's in a size small, this is a classic double flap in size small. And I have worn it, okay? I have worn it. I have worn it. I tried to baby this purse, of course, because I'm like, you know what, just in case I want to sell it, which I highly doubt I will sell it, so I probably will not. <laughs> but I enjoy it so much. I have enjoyed it a whole lot this year. And um, I store it with the, with the straps on the inside. I try to pull the straps just to sit inside here like so. This is what the interior looks like. It's doing nicely. It's done well. And um, I, the hardware has done surprisingly nicely. Okay. I have a scratch here that I just noticed right now. But I'm sure that scratch is solely because of me. I probably would have. Maybe I did something that made it scratch that bad. Okay. But it is doing very, 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 very well. Very well. I have no complaint about this purse whatsoever. Okay. Love it. Love it. I do love it a lot. Yeah. yeah. My next uh, Chanel purse is the Chanel Pearl Crush Mini Flap in color beige. Dark beige, I believe. Yeah, this is actually what I'm carrying right now, hence the strap being outside. There's nothing bad I can say about this. I love it. Sometimes, you know, if I want to wear it like with shorter straps, I'm able to pull the straps this short. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's an amazing addition to my collection. But it's time for it to sit down somewhere. My final, final, final bag <laughs> is this Salvatore Ferragamo top handle bag in... Um, size medium I believe this is the trifolio um, top handle bag in size medium to be honest with you guys I had no idea about this purse until this purse was gifted to me I have carried it a lot just because it's a big bag and it was able to fit my baby stuff in it but uh, is this a bag that I would have gravitated to by myself Actually, in this size, probably not. But yeah, it's not leaving my collection because it was a gift from my hubby, and you know, I will. He really likes it. Hmm. Yeah, it's in here. It's a bunch of random stuff in here. It's a nice top handle bag. I don't have anything like this in my collection, as you guys can see. And I don't even think a lot of this is not a purse that has been, you know. Um, hyped up by social media and all that one thing I love about this this purse is the leather I have not owned anything else from Ferragamo however the leather on this purse is very very exquisite okay if you like top handle bags I think you would really like this purse maybe not in this size because it's pretty big um, I'm just gonna put it on my shoulder for you guys to see it's pretty pretty I mean big and you see how the top handle is literally right beside my boob <laughs> I would have actually preferred it in a smaller size but um, I still picked it up this weekend when I was going out with my uh, toddler and put you know his diapers uh, bottles a lot of things fit in there very comfortably and it cause, okay so he has um, three compartments actually does he have three compartments yeah I think so yeah it has one in front um, one at the back here and there's like a little um, deep compartment at the behind right there and it has the Salvatore Ferragamo you know logo on the inside right here it's it's it's, it's a nice bag and the leather is just gorge um it's it's a nice it's a nice it's a nice one if you if you're a fan of top handles this will most likely be a cup of tea and um, it's also, I believe, a good work bag. It's a good work bag. It probably will be able to fit a little, like, fit, like, um, a tablet or iPads and stuff like that. Maybe not a laptop, but, yeah. Or maybe, maybe a really small laptop, but it's, it's a gorgeous piece. So that pretty much sums up my entire luxury collection. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys have any questions about any of the purses you um, came across today, please let me know in the comment section down below. I really do appreciate you guys taking the time out to enjoy this video with me. And uh, yeah, see you in my next video.
拜。